Hey guys, welcome back to another Super Coach video. Today we're going to be going through last week's round and what I've done this week. Well, first of all, it was a it was a bad round for me. Got 2,200 points. It wasn't really that good. I expected more from my team. If we have a look here, you can just see it didn't go very well. Completed my side, hopefully that changes and when this loads. Um, yeah, when this loads, you'll see it wasn't the best round 2100. It just didn't go well for me because Parrish was still injured, he's back this week, which is excellent. And yeah, I'm slowly going down those ranks. But this season hasn't been season and hopefully next season I'll be able to bounce back if we go to my team we'll have a look there um still reading. okay as you can see I've done two trades this week and I'm left with two trades but a completed side I'm not gonna spend any of them if somebody gets injured, that's what they're for. So I have Sicily, and i got to say, any of you who have Tom Stewart, what a shame. He played a very good game, so he back to the score, the report for four weeks. You have to trade him out, it's a must trade out. Who are you going to go for, though? That's the question. And if Sicily, if you don't have him, I suggest go for him. And there's also this other man, Gordon Dawson. Getting hunted every single week and for me, it hurts man because he's definitely a top six defender ever since round even the entire year has been super consistent. Lowest score 81, 134, 140. My gosh, he is a gun averaging 110. Last three, 128, I think, if we have a look here, 127. He's a gun, so he's a very good replacement option. But if you're trying to save that cash since Stewie, I think, is 140. I think he's 140. I meant 540 in cash. is 560. So if you don't have that 30k to spend, there's plenty of options to downgrade to. There's Hewitt if you don't have him. Short, I wouldn't go for. But if you are that desperate to save a bit of coin, you can. Because he's... Getting those 90s, which isn't what you want, but you can do with it. And for my backline, it was an average sort of week, but these four, Sinclair, Sicily, Doherty, and Short, you got to at least hit the tongue, guys. Come on. If we go here, this is one of my trades. I'm trading in this guy because I needed the cash for Oliver. He... And the reason I got Oliver, he is a top 8 midfielder. He's killing everybody. He is an absolute gun. He went 140 this week, killed me. My opposition had him, but I still won, surprisingly. Um, now, Neil had an okay game. Any time is what you want. If everybody scores a ton, you'll get 26, which is a very good score. And I'm happy with all this. For my captain, it was McRae. It was a decent score. I should have gone Wits. He scored 150. A very good week for him. Clark. It's not something I wanted after getting him in last week, but what are you meant to do? Paul Curtis. He's going to make me a bit of coin. Maybe in the last two, three rounds, if I'm still in the finals by then. By some miracle, because my side isn't what I want, but it's what I have. Then... I can trade him out and probably upgrade if he continues with the good form he's having. Cogs, I am so lucky I didn't trade him out. He is a top F6. He is going to be, I think, number one. Or one of the doggies. But, yeah, you, this guy, you need to get him if you, if you don't have him. Will Brody, same with him. Dunkley, same. Parker, he's questionable. Gresham and Heaney are probably F7s, F8s. But I have to keep them, I don't have many trades left, and yeah, there's my team, 
but the thing is, this rock wine I am not happy with, but everybody must have these guys because because um, there's no better options. You could have got Nank and he went 140 or Darcy, but I'm pretty sure Tim English is coming back, and I do not have to trade somebody out this week. If I have a look, I'm pretty sure he's coming back, which will be good. Where is it? Lock in star. I don't know. I feel like he may be out. It just sort of dogs rule out big man. If we have a look. Um, where is he? Oh, no. He's going to be out. But... Mm. I'm not trading him out. I don't have the trades to trade him out. I'm just hoping that my group of players, because they are all quality players, and if you yeah, where's English? Oh, one week, so here's one week. I do need to win this week because I'm sitting one win out of the eight. Who am I versing? If I'm versing um, somebody bad, then I should be fine, but if I'm versing one of the top four, Enough for what? Ooh. I feel like I can beat him without a player. Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to check out this video. It's a different video. Chess Blitz beginning episode one. I go through two games, win one, lose one. You guys need to help me out. If you're good at chess, leave a comment. What principles that you think I should follow to analyze a game, that type of stuff. I tip, I meant, I did my tipping video yesterday. Go check that out if you want. Um, thank you for these views, though, guys. And I, we had some really good um, conversations in the comments in round 15 chat. Drop a comment on what you think about Supercoach this week. We'll have some more conversations about this and stuff like that. But, aside from that, there's not much you can do because Tom Stewart is the big out for people this week. But otherwise, it's all about modifying your score, finishing it up. Depends on what luxury you have and that type of stuff. So, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you guys have a good round. Leave a comment. What I should do, should I trade out English? I'll have one trade for injuries, but should I do it and scrap um, to Ambrosi and go for a cheaper mid like Laird? You guys tell me. And we'll comment about it, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.